La mulata a Cordoba. You never know the deadly lengths someone will go to survive when they're backed into a corner like in this story inspired by Kelly. Soledad was a well-known herbalist treating many in the community who suffered from illness. Yet despite helping to heal people, there were rumors she had made a deal with the devil himself to keep her youth and her beauty forever. Many grew jealous of Soledad. A myriad of suitors offered their hand in marriage, but she rejected them all, rich or poor, young or old, not wanting to be someone's prize. One of these suitors was Don Martin de Orcania, the mayor of Cordoba. When Soledad dismissed his proposal, he grew angry and sought revenge. He started another rumor, convincing the townspeople she was indeed a witch. He claimed she had snuck a potion into his drink, causing him to fall in love with her, just so she could refuse and humiliate him. Despite helping so many townspeople with her potions and herbs, they were afraid to speak against the mayor or become victims of the Inquisition themselves. They were driven by fear, supporting the cruel claims that she was a witch. A few still asked for help, but now if they came at all, it was in secret. Soledad became an outcast which only served to fuel the stories. Children whispered that they had seen her fly over the rooftops laughing ghoulishly into the night. Men, likely disgruntled suitors, claimed she had tried to sneak them love potions as well. Sadly, Soledad was not surprised when officers turned up at her door and she was taken to San Juan de Urtea prison, where she awaited the punishment for being a witch, being burned to death at the stake. While she was imprisoned, Soledad used her charm to befriend a guard. She had asked him if he could bring her charcoal, and he unwillingly obliged. After all, what harm could it cause? She drew for hours on the walls of her cell, helping to ease the time of passing. As the weeks went by, she created an incredibly detailed drawing of a ship. And by the day of her execution, it was nearly completed. When the guard came to check on her, Soledad asked him to look at her drawing. Tell me, guard, what is missing from this ship? He studied the wall for a moment and replied, nothing but to navigate to a destination. Indeed, she replied. The guard looked surprised, but placated her during the final moments before her execution. He watched her step into the drawing and then somehow disappear into it. His jaw dropped as she somehow magically became one with the ship, completing the drawing with a charcoal version of herself. The guard stared in shock as the sketch of Soledad smiled mischievously at him. It must all be true. She was a witch. She had made a deal with the devil. He watched her inhale deeply and blow a strong breath into the sails of the ship, moving the vessel along the wall of her cell. She turned and blew the rest of her magical breath at the guard. He gasped, grabbing his throat, choking on nothing but air. His eyes bulged and his face turned red. His neck bled as he clawed at his throat for breath. He tried to speak to curse the devil-worshipping witch, but no sound came out. He dropped to the floor, dead. Another soul for her master. Soledad breathed more wind into the sails as her ship glided off the walls of the prison and vanished. She was never seen again, nor her cell ever used, as none of the guards dared to set foot inside. Anyone who even went near it felt the cold, icy grip upon their neck and shortness of their breath. To this day, the sound of her ghoulish laughter can be heard echoing throughout the ancient walls of the prison in the darkest hours of the night. <laughs>